mommy, it's in my birthday, yeah, cause I gotta say, you're looking like a gift for me, wrapped up nice and neat, baby. Get in my way now, don't be shy, we'll be here dancing day and night, get in my groove now. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allie, if you are new. I am a mom to two already, and as you can see, I am pregnant in this video. My baby has since been born, but I pre-filmed a couple of videos so that I could take some time off and enjoy those newborn snuggles for as long as I can. So this video was pre-recorded, but I wanted to share it with you guys to give you some cleaning motivation. In this video, I am tackling our master bedroom which was super dirty and dusty, and I'm going to be deep cleaning it in preparation for baby. I like to have my house as spotless as I can before my babies arrive, and especially the master bedroom because this is where we're pretty much gonna be living, and baby will be sleeping with us in a bassinet in our bedroom for several months at least. So I wanted to get this room nice and clean and then I'm also gonna start setting up the bedside nursery in this video as well. If you guys are not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. I do lots of cleaning and organization videos as well as lifestyle, motherhood, and a lot of like cooking and grocery hauls and things like that. You can also follow us on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch. Currently I am sharing all the newborn sweetness over there so I would love to have you guys come hang out with us there. After changing out the sheets on the bed, the first thing that I'm doing is wiping everything down and just giving it a really good dust. And I'm doing this from top to bottom so that as I'm dusting, if things fall, the last thing I'll do is vacuum the floors and pick it all up. To dust, I'm using these pretty microfiber cloths. I have them linked in my Amazon storefront, which you can find in the description box below. And then the spray that I'm using is my Thieves Household Cleaner Concentrate from Young Living. We are gonna take a real quick coffee break. I need to just sit down for a second and get a little bit of my energy back. But I wanted to show you guys what I've been putting in my coffee every single day that I have noticed a huge difference using. So I have been adding Care Of's collagen powder to my coffee every day to help support healthy skin and nails. My skin, especially in the winter months, can get really dry, and then my nails always need a little bit of support as well. So I've been using this one, and I've noticed big differences. I've actually been using Care Of for several years now. I love everything that they stand for. They use only super clean ingredients. Everything is backed by science, and they're super transparent about all of their sourcing, which is really important to me. They also have this really cool personalized online quiz that you can take. It only takes a couple minutes. Basically, they'll ask you a few questions about your lifestyle and then based off of the answers that you give, they will give you recommendations on things that you probably should be taking. So it kind of takes all of the guesswork out of it. But going back to the collagen powder, I like using the unflavored flavor because I like adding it to my coffee. I just do two scoops, stir it up, it dissolves completely. You cannot taste it, but they also have collagen powders in other flavors. That would be really fun to add to smoothies or teas or things like that if that's more your thing. So if you are on the hunt for a good collagen powder, I definitely recommend using the Care Of one. I have noticed big differences in my skin and my nails using it. I actually have a discount code for you guys. If you click the link in the description box below and then apply the code Allie G, you'll get 50% off of your first order with Care Of. All right, so I'm gonna go sip my coffee real quick and then we are gonna get some serious cleaning. I really wasn't kidding when I said this room is incredibly dusty. I think it's because we have hardwood floors in this bedroom, 
But if you guys have any tips or a solution for me to just cut down on some of the dust, please let me know in the comments below because I'm pretty tired of it at this point and I would love some help. When you took my hands and let's leave now Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now don't wanna be shy My cleaner ran out and so I'm going to just whip up a new batch really quick. It just takes one capful of the concentrate and the rest is water. And then I like to kind of customize the scent so I add essential oils. Today I'm using a Christmas spirit just to make it kind of cozy and festive still since it's winter time. This dresser ends up being our catch-all for bills and just miscellaneous stuff. So I'm going to clean it off, give it a good dust. I don't show it in this video, but this dresser is going to be our changing station for baby. Baby does have a nursery, but it's all the way upstairs, and I don't want to have to take him up and down the stairs to change him every time. So we're going to set up a station in our bedroom, and that'll be really nice for the middle of the night changes as well. But basically what we ended up doing is putting a changing pad on top of the dresser along with some wipes and a wipes warmer and any other little supplies that we needed. And it's worked out really good for us so far.
can't fall asleep. I'm just not tired. I can hear the rain just fall. It's cold outside, and I kind of feel like calling, but it's too. To vacuum the floors, I'm using my LG stick vacuum, and this is our favorite vacuum that we've owned. It does a good job of vacuuming, but it also has two batteries. It comes in handy for us because it doubles the amount of time that we can vacuum, which is really good. So I've gotten the room cleaned and dusted top to bottom and it feels really good to have all of that dust out of here. I don't know if you guys have ever had hardwood floors in your bedroom before. I never have until this house and this room gets so dusty so quickly. So I'm curious to know, let me know in the comments if you guys have hardwood floors, if yours also get super dusty really quick. But anyways, I've got it all wiped down. Feels really good to have a clean slate. And now what I'm gonna do um, I think I'm going to start on these drawers. So these drawers right here are usually Andrew's drawers, but with Oakley, we didn't have a nursery for him. So we cleared out the first top two drawers right here with Oakley. And I used one for clothes, one for diapers and supplies. So I think we're going to do that again. Andrew's already cleared his stuff out and he put it over there in the closet. And so I'm going to wipe these out right now and I'm going to fill them with, probably not with clothes yet, um, 
because I still need to wash them. And then also we don't have, we don't have any diapers yet. So I definitely need to do that. But I'm gonna bring some bins down here and at least put the bins in here so that when we get the diapers and I wash the clothes, I can start filling them. Also, I'm going to bring in the bassinet and our rocking chair from upstairs in the nursery. Since we're gonna totally be living down here, like I'm not gonna go up and down the stairs to change baby's diaper and feed him and stuff like that. So um, yeah, we're gonna go ahead and move the rocker down here and set up the bassinet tonight. And um, then that will be all done. I don't exactly know the layout that I'm gonna do. Maybe put the rocker there and then the bassinet, just keep it here for now. Andrew brought down the rocking chair from the nursery. This was actually the chair that we used with Emmy. And we have another one in Oakley's room that he still likes to be rocked in. These chairs are from Target and they are wonderful. They're so comfortable. They're actually gliding recliners. So I will have these linked in the description box below for you guys too, but we love these chairs. They've served our family really well. And then this is the bassinet that we ended up going with. I have never had a formal bassinet for either of my children, but this time I wanted to have a really safe space to put baby when he was asleep at night. So I've been using it for a couple of weeks now since baby boy arrived and I love this thing. The side actually zips down and I can put it right up against my bed. And I ended up having a C-section and it was kind of hard for me to get up and pick up baby, but having this bassinet right next to my bed made middle of the night feedings so much easier. So I will have this linked in the description box below for you guys too, but I highly recommend this bassinet. It's from Amazon. So that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching and for hanging out. I hope that you guys got lots of cleaning motivation for yourselves. If you did, please give this video a like. Make sure you're subscribed to my channel. I promise you guys I will have a birth vlog up soon. If you follow me on Instagram, you probably know that the birth did not go as expected and I am still trying to process it all, but I did film a video and as soon as I feel ready to edit that and post it, I will let you guys know. So be on the lookout for it. You can also follow me on Instagram at Allie underscore Gooch. And I think that's gonna be it. So I love you guys and I will see you in the next one. Bye.